What's going on everybody? Jade up here. Uh, today's video is going to be over combat metrics. We're going to take a look at um, a fight log that I've recorded and we're going to talk about it and hopefully um, if you're not sure how to read combat metrics, hopefully this video gives you a little insight on what to kind of look for and how to read it. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So first you're going to hit escape. You're going to go over here to add-ons and make sure you have combat metrics clicked. Once it's clicked, you're going to click controls, go to add keybinds. You're going to scroll down until you find combat metrics. Once you do that, you're going to look for toggle fight report. You're going to click here and then you're going to toggle it to any keybind if you would like. And once you do that, you're going to click bind, then you're going to hit escape. Now you can also pull this up by hitting slash CMX and it will pull up the combat metrics here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up and then we're going to talk about the the, uh, the title panel up here at the top and the side panel here. We'll talk about the DPS box here. We'll talk about the target, the target box, uh, the character sheet box. We won't really go into this too much uh, because it's just, it's just basically talking about your character sheet. Um, and then we'll go over the ability. If you activated ability that did some type of damage, it'll be here. We're going to talk about the buffs that you've done or that you've applied. We'll talk about the debuffs and we'll look at the Magicka one. Uh, the Magicka and the Stam are exactly the same as far as what the name is, the number, uh, and the seconds over here. And we'll look at both of them, obviously. Um, I'll, I'll go over this one and I'll just kind of skim through this one. Because they're both the same, they just uh, obviously names are different and whatnot. So without further ado, here we go. So the first little icon up here is your race. So this is Argonian, and this is your class, which I'm a DK. It's so gonna say your character name, the CP. The title right here is going to be over the fight that you that you were at. So if you're at Rakat, it would say like Rakat up here. Um, if you were at uh, Vashai and um, you know, skin right will have it up here, and obviously this is the first boss of Moss, so you'll have it up here. Same thing with the Manicora, the Warrior, stuff like that. So these are trial bosses and and uh, dungeon fights and all that stuff. It'll have it'll have the title name up here. Now the previous, next, and most recent. I'll go over that in a second. So what you're gonna do is if you just got out of a fight, or got out of a dungeon or trial, something like that, and you want to go back and you want to look at one of the fight logs. Are you going to do before you reload UI? You have to do this before you reload UI. Is you're going to go to load fight, and what's going to happen is there's going to be a list of fights right here. Okay. Now, if you just did one, like a target skeleton or something like that, then obviously you can um, you'll load this up and it'll be the only one that pops up. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the one that you want to look at, and then if you have multiple ones in your recent fights, so if you have multiple fights here in your recent fights and you just click on this one, then you can navigate between previous, uh, next, and then you could go to the most recent. Now once you have one loaded in, and if you want to save it, you can click save, and it'll save here into your save fights. Or you can hit delete, and it will delete it from the system. So now we're going to look at the side, side panel over here. This is going to be damage caused. This one, this one, if you right here, if you click this, that's healing done. This one is damage received. This one is healing received. We're not going to worry too much about these in this video, but what we are going to worry about is the damage cause. So we're going to look at this whole everything you see here. Uh, we are going to keep it on flight flight stats, and so without further ado, again, we're going to go right here into this box here. Now. As far as I'm aware, active time is from when you first aggro the boss until when he drops dead. In combat is the actual, um, so when you, when you first aggro him, and then when he dies, and then that 10 seconds afterwards where, he's, where you're still in combat. That's what the in combat is. So this is the actual number of the fight. This right here is going to show your DPS per player, and then your group DPS, and the percentage. Now here is going to go a little bit more in, in depth of the total damage, the normal attacks, the critical attacks, and the number of attacks during shield phase. This is going to obviously show your group DPS here, and the percentage as well, 
And then it just, just goes into a little bit more how many hits you did on normal, how many hits you did of crit, and how many hits you did on shield. And again, the percentage of that. So now we're going to look at the target, DPS, damage, and percentage. So again, this is the uh, this is the boss, and these are the cats that he that he spawns. So again, this is the first boss of Maul. Obviously, this is the DPS. Let's hold damage and the percentage. And as you can see, you can just click on this. Once you get done, and it'll go in more depth on what what you actually done. It'll change everything. So now we're gonna over, go over here, and we're gonna look at the basically your status panel. So this is obviously my Magicka regen. My stat, my stam region, my ulti regain. Now these panels right here are obviously going to be more in depth on your Magicka, um, your stamina ability, your stamina uh, information, and then your tank, your health and physical and spot resistance. So here, as you could see, my max Magicka uh, was 15, 982, and then my max, well then my max uh, with buffed up was at 16, 249 somehow. Spell damage was at 1754. Obviously, I'm not going to go over everything. You can kind of see it yourself that the spell crit was about the same. Spell damage or critical damage, spell penetration. Again, the same thing with stam, uh, 26, weapon damage, weapon critical, stuff like that. So when you're DPSing, if you have, uh, if your DPS is a stam DPS, you'll definitely click this box so you can kind of see um, where your mean is at. And what you are when you're fully buffed up in the group. Again, the same thing with the Magicka. You're mean, and then when you're fully buffed up. Again, it's here. This kind of bugged out a little bit for me, as far as like the max health and the physical resistance. For some reason, it was just not right. The only one that was right was my spell resistance. Uh, anyways, when I look back on stream, I was sitting around 37k. I don't remember the exact number because I have it at 37 37k it was like 37.3k or something like that and then i know for a fact my physical resistance before i went in was definitely not that low so i don't know why it kind of bugged out that way well anyways um so these two kind of bugged out but it will show you it will try and show you the max health uh, or excuse me your mean health your mean physical resistance and your mean spell resistance so this is just your average this is what i had it at and then, of course, this is with your fully buffed up. Again, this is so high because I had like blood spawn, and then we had our our buffs going. So now we're gonna look over here to this ability bar. Now this shows you the attack that you did. So obviously, I did blockade a storm. It did twenty percent of my damage. It did fifteen sixteen DPS. So obviously, damage per second. It did that much damage. Out of 167 hits, it critted 38 times. And that's a crit of 23%. Average of 988, and the max was 1933. And it also goes Roar of, of Alkosh, excuse me. Um, this is actually not the debuff of Alkosh, this is the damage that Alkosh does. So if you look at Alkosh, and we can just kind of go to it right quick. If you look at Alkosh, it says when you activate a synergy, you send a shockwave to your from your position that deals 1720 physical damage and then an additional 12k physical damage over 10 seconds. That's the roar of Alkosh. And again, if you activate a conduit from a synergy, it'll show you that as well. So it did 4.5% of the damage from me. It did 335 damage per second. And then the total damage did 36k. And then out of seven times that I hit it, three times it crit, which is a crit for 43%. And 52 is the average. And then uh, the max was 94. So now we're going to look at the buff area. As you can see, we have the light green and then the dark green. Now the lover or the lord that I have here is just always set. With the aggressive warhorn, as you can see, it has light. And then dark green. It, the, the dark green is actually what you did not apply. So as you can see, the light is what you did. It, you did apply, and you did contribute to the fight. So if you want to look at aggressive warhorn, it's a, it goes up to here with light, and then out of uh, two out of six times I hit warhorn. So out of the six times warhorn was popped, 
I hit Warhorn twice during that fight. And I kept uptime of 32% with that Warhorn at 100% overtime. So if you scroll up here, this, uh, the first number is player percent, and the next one is overall percentage. When you're looking at buffs and, uh, and, and fights and stuff like that, you really kind of want to look at the overall percent. And the same thing with DP, uh, debuffs. You want to look at the overall debuffs. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the boss fight, or the boss itself. Because <clears throat> it'll go in a little bit more in depth as far as like debuffs. Now uh, we can go down here and I'm going to touch on something. Minor Heroism. So we're going to see that I played Minor Heroism 8 times at a 61%. So if you go over here and you look at Minor Mame. Minor Mame say, is saying that I hit it 15 times out of 31 times total. Which I kept it up at 82%. And you're kind of wondering like what the heck? Like how is that possible? Well... We'll go into skills right quick and I'll show you. As you can see, Heroic Slash applies Minor Mame every 9 seconds. So as long as you hit Heroic Slash after that 9 seconds, you can reapply Minor Heroism. Minor Mame lasts 12 seconds. So that's that's where that numbers are getting. Um, that's where the numbers are, are, are kind of different and weird, as you would say. So out of the, um, during the entire fight, I applied Minor Heroism eight times. Now it's not saying how many times I hit Heroic Slash, it just says how many times I applied a buff. And my buff would be Minor Heroism for myself, which is at a 61%. So that's how you read that. Now we're going to go into debuffs, and we're going to look at Major Fracture. As you can see, in Pierce Armor, Pierce Armor does um, Major Fracture and Major Breach, and they both last for 12 seconds. Now, as you can see here, Major Fracture and Major Breach, but they're different. One has 10%, one has 67%. The reason why is because we had, we had other uh, DPS in there applying Major Fracture as well, such as probably Stamina Nightblades that last 30 seconds. So out of, the, out of 69 times Major Fracture was applied, I, I got to apply it four times, which is my uptime was 10% out of 100% total. So 100% total major fracture was up. Now if you look at major breach, out of the 13 out of the 16 times it was uh major breach was uh was hit on the boss, it was up 13 times or I applied it 13 times. So which is an uptime of 67% by myself and then 99% total. So now that so this overall is group debuffs together it's all it's added together and in here this percent here on the left side is the percent that you helped you helped apply now the numbers in the center on the right side of the numbers this one right here 69 times that's how many times it was applied and then here is how many times you actually applied it so if you look at a golfing 18 times I applied it and it was an uptime percent of 98 percent so now we're gonna look at line breaker and Linebreaker is actually the debuff from Alkosh. So if we actually go over here, look at Alkosh again. Look at the very bottom, the very bottom where it says reduce the physical and spell resistance of an enemy hit by 3,010 for 10 seconds. That's what the Linebreaker is. As you can see, it's filled up, it's filled up light pink and then dark pink behind it. And that just means that out of four times, I out of five times, I hit it. I hit Alkosh four times. That affected the enemy is seventy-one percent debuff time out of a total of ninety-one per, or ninety percent. Excuse me. So now we're gonna look at off balance. Off balance, of course, has the light pink. So I did help apply the debuff. And then you have the dark pink, which is a lot more filled out. So as you can see, it's six out of two times. So. Out of the six times, twice, I got to apply off balance to the boss, which is my uptime of 9% that I helped keep up at a total of 28% total that it was up. So now we're going to go over here to Magicka. And what we're going to look at, actually what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at Major Resolve, Major Ward, and can, in conjunction with the Magicka here with balance. Now, if you guys know what balance is, we'll look at it right quick. Balance 
applies major resolve and major reward, as you can see on the second paragraph, for 27.6 seconds, increasing physical and spell resistance by 5280. Balance here. I hit it eight times, and for some reason here, it's saying nine. Well, the reason why is because I applied it before we started the boss fight. So that's where that comes in. And it only was uh, eight times active during the fight. As you can see, an uptime of 89%. So now we're going to look at, so it's balance, number of times I hit it. And so basically this is the um, region per second. So the, the better way to kind of look at it is if you just look at base region, right? So base region is like this. My base region is uh, 1250, right? So it was act base region was active 55 times. So every two seconds, my region went off for a total of 55 times at an average of 422 seconds per second. Okay. And the same thing with constitution. It went off 16 times at a total of 86 per second. And resourceful went off two times at a total of 78. Now resourceful and constitution is from the heavy armor and resourceful is from uh, the Argonian passive. Now blockade of storm is almost the exact same thing. Blockade of storm, I hit it 14 times and with a total of 381 per second. Now stamina is the exact same thing, exact, exact same thing, excuse me. It's the base region of my stem. Yeah, as, um, as again, so every two seconds, it went off for a total of 38 times, which averaged to 258 seconds per second. So again, hopefully this uh, helps you out. Um, again, when you're clicking, when you're clicking, and you want to look at the actual debuffs that you that uh, the group may applied, you want to click the actual boss, and it'll be grayed out here, and then it'll show you a lot bigger numbers and a lot bigger percent. Mainly what you want to look at as a group uh, effort is you want to look at the overall. You want to make sure that your engulfing is up for that extra damage for your Magicka characters. You want to try and keep that 100% uptime of Major Fracture and Major Breach. Um, again, with the Minor Maim, Alkosh would be nice if it was higher, but 90% is actually pretty good and as a total group effort. Which we only have myself and the other tank running. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully this guy, uh, hopefully this helped you out, guys. And uh, if it did, just let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next stream. Or, excuse me, next stream. We'll see you in the next video.